Microorganisms Introduction Doctors often advise us to boil water before using it for cooking or drinking purposes. The reason is that most of us think that tap water is pure simply because it appears transparent. But in reality, water could contain numerous disease-causing germs. Boiling water helps to kill these germs. These germs are so tiny that they are not visible to the naked eye. We need a microscope to view them. Organisms that are visible only through a microscope are called microorganisms. Microorganisms are also useful to us in many ways. While some help in carrying out biological processes, others help in the preparation of important food items such as curd and bread. Microorganisms are classified into five major groups. They are bacteria, fungi, algae, protozoa, and viruses. Forms of bacteria. There are four forms of bacteria. Caucus. These bacteria are spherical, round in shape. The spherical forms occur either singly, called micrococcus, in groups of two, called streptococcus, or in groups resembling bunches of grapes, called staphylococcus. These are shown. Bacillus. These are rod-like, with or without flagella. They may occur singly or form a filament. Certain notorious diseases in man, such as tuberculosis, tetanus, diphtheria, leprosy, are caused by bacillus bacteria. Spirulum. These are twisted like a corkscrew or spiral in appearance. They may have flagella at both the ends. Vibrio. These are comma-shaped bacteria. Curd formation. Curd is formed when a protein called casin, present in the milk, clumps together or coagulates to form a solidified mass. The spoonful of curd that your mother adds to the milk activates the growth of lactobacillus, an acid-producing bacterium in the mixture. When casin clumps together, it traps fat globules and some of the milky liquid inside the clumps. This is what gives rise to moist, nutritious curd. Milk plus a little curd, starter, gives to coagulation of milk casin, gives to more curd.